You have completed preparing your open controller for operation. Then we can now start with initial commissioning, in which we will implement basic settings and install the operating system. Then we will have to transfer the licenses from the USB stick to the device. Please note that you will not be able to use the multi-touch panel for initial commissioning, as the multi-touch driver will only be available once the installation is complete. So what do we need for initial installation, in addition to our open controller? First of all, we will need a monitor, which we can connect via the DVI port, plus a USB keyboard and a USB mouse. We have already connected our open controller to the 24-volt power supply and can now switch it on to begin the installation. At the start of the installation, some basic system properties are set, and then the operating system will be installed. We can now lean back and relax, and watch the installation progress, as it will take some time until the first dialog will appear. The first dialog will prompt us to set our country. And then our language. The keyboard layout will be adapted to the selected language automatically. We will then click Next. We will now be prompted to enter a username and a computer name. This is the administrator account we are setting up. We will therefore name the user Admin and the computer Open Controller. The computer name can be up to 15 characters long and must not contain any special characters. We will click Next and be prompted to enter a password for the admin account. For security reasons, we will do that now and will then repeat the password and also add a password hint. The installation process will now continue. We accept the Microsoft license conditions and continue. Here we get a chance to specify a time zone and then continue. The system will now restart. Once the system has restarted, we can modify or apply the IP address for the X2 interface. We will apply the default settings in this case, as these are also used in the TIA portal for the open controller. Our first Windows login will be under the user account operator. The user account is created automatically with standard user rights by Windows during installation and is set up with the auto login function. Since we don't want to assign a password here, we will simply skip the prompt with enter. If you do want to assign a password for this user account at a later time, you will be able to do so via the Windows User Account Administration. You have now completed the initial commissioning and have a fully functional Windows system on your open controller. The default language for the user interface is English. If you have a professional version, you can find more interface languages on the recovery DVD, which you can install via the Windows System Controller. As a last step, we will now transfer the licenses from the USB stick to the device. Plug the USB stick into the free USB port and wait until it is recognized by Windows. We'll close the Windows dialog box and open the Automation License Manager instead. In the navigation, we can see the license key displayed already, so we just click the drive. We can now see all available licenses. We select all of them 
and drag them over to drive C. A small dialog box will show us the progress of the transfer. When the transfer is complete, the license key we see here will be empty. Let's click Drive C just to make sure that all our licenses have been transferred correctly. We can now close the Automation License Manager and remove the USB stick. We have successfully completed all steps that require direct access to the Open Controller.